Hi, I'm Dan Weaver, and I'm the inventor of Patchwork, and I'd like to take a few minutes to teach you how to play my game. Patchwork is a simple strategy game in which the player with the most cards collected at the end wins, and you collect cards by making sets of four or more of the same color in a row, either on the inside of your hand or on the back of any of your opponent's hands. And the key to Patchwork is the fact that the cards have different colors, usually on the inside versus the outside. So a card that might be uh, red on one side, well, off it might be green on the other side, and every color combination exists in equal number. So if I had this hand and those opponents, I'm playing against those two other hands there, I might, for my first action, uh, see that I have three reds in a row, I need one more red to make a set of four. So with my first action, I might trade a card for a card like that with my opponent. And what I see is what I get. So the red that I saw over there comes to the inside of my hand. That first action gives me the four in a row I need, so now with my second action, I can collect those. I lay them down, showing everyone that I have four in a row, and that's four points for me. And then I would replenish my hand from the deck. Now, if I'm paying attention, I can memorize as I go, because the top side of the deck is what's going to go facing out, because everyone's already seen that. So I have a blue on the back there, I have a green on the back there, and I have a red on the back there. And I can use that information in a subsequent turn because one of the actions I'm allowed to do if I want is a flip. We'll get to that in a second. So now let's pretend that the play goes around and now it's my second turn. So on my second turn I see an opportunity to score on the back of my opponent's hand there. And so I might do another trade where I trade a card for a card like that and now I've made four in a row on the back of their hand. And now I can steal their cards. So I steal those four cards from them and after they're done whining and complaining, I have to pay them. So they would get one, that's one point for them. I keep the other three, that's three points for me. And they then replenish, again by drawing immediately from the deck. And play continues. So, each turn, you're allowed to do two actions. And the actions you can do can be the following things. A flip, so I can flip a card around, so the outside becomes the inside. And I can do that to my opponent's hand as well. So for example, I could do a flip there. And that's, that would be an action. A swap, so I can swap the position of two cards. Because the key is that the four in a row have to be in a row, they have to be adjacent. So flip, swap, trade, which I've shown a couple times, I'll show again now, so I can do a trade like that. And again, when I trade, the card doesn't flip, so what I see is what I get. And that rule means that I can't trade between my two opponents' hand, because the card doesn't flip, I wouldn't get the side that I see, that would go to the inside of my opponent, the other uh, opponent's hand. Flip, swap, trade, and then if I've made four in a row, then I can score it. Or steal it, depending on if it's on the inside or the outside. So for example, here I made that four in a row, I can now steal those cards, give them one, and keep the rest. So Patchwork is a very fast, fun, light strategy game that's uh, accessible for two to five players, ages five and up, and it plays in 15 to 20 minutes. It has the wonderful feature that it's something that the whole family can enjoy playing together because young kids learn how to play it very quickly. They're not as biased as adults are about whether the cards can have two sides, so they tend to pay attention to the backs of the cards. Um, the last rule of patchwork is one that I usually only teach and I encourage folks to only use after the first uh, game or two once they're comfortable with the basic mechanic. And that rule is if you have a pair of the same color, so I'm going to cheat for a second to arrange it. So let's pretend that I had a pair of green here adjacent, and I see a pair of yellow that I want to bring into my hand. So if I have a pair here and see a pair there, I can, in that case, do a two for two trade. But, you know, the, the setup has to be a pair of a color for a pair of a color. The game ends as soon as all the cards in the deck have been uh, used, have been drawn, and uh, whoever has the most cards collected at the end wins. So it's a fast, light, fun, intergenerational strategy game, and it's a Night Weaver game.